Hey there, my name is Nate with Modern Muscle Cars and Ocala Trailer. On this segment, we're actually gonna go take a look through one of our toy haulers here and show you the ways around. Uh, this is mostly for new owners. So some of these features that we may have listed here uh, will or may not be on your toy hauler, um, but we'll just be going over some of the uh, basics of what kind of features you may have and what items and features you may have to use. Here on the front uh, passenger side, of the uh, toy hauler, I'll show here real quick. We have an on and off switch, mostly used for maintenance, and then of course the reset for the hot water here. Shown here on the Sundowner model, we have the fold-out awning. Uh, in a couple seconds here, we'll switch to and show you the different pitch angles you can have once this awning is fully extended. So as we're shown here, uh, with this pitch completely at a 90 degree angle, we've got a little bit lower down on the awning. Um, so not giving you as much room outward, but giving you a lot more room inward uh, that help out once you're uh, living outdoors. Whether you're picking up from a local dealer such as ourselves, or if you're picking directly up from Sundowner, we recommend that after the first 200 miles, you come back and retorque the wheels. For these eight lug axles, they recommend 120 to 140 foot pounds of torque. Next, what we're gonna show here is the features of the switches on the back of this toy hauler here. First, on the top left, we have these LED backup lights. We also have a little bit different switch below. This will actually turn your inside garage lights on. And then the final and last switch over here on the right side will actually be more of your clearance lights. Here it will be shown real quick is for features that are gen ready or already gen applied. We'll have the green cap here for the diesel applications and then of course for Red will be for the gasoline. Also down here, on this particular model, we have the sewage holding tank, uh, release switches here. These here are usually found on the driver's side of any toy hauler. Towards the front of the toy haulers, we'll usually have the water fill-up box, and then down here, we'll have the electrical plug. Uh, on this particular model, we'll also have a coaxial for a TV hookup. As well, we'll also show you real quick on this model, it's got the equalizer twin jack system. So on here, it's gonna have two switches, one for left and the one for the right side. Here real quick, we're also gonna take a look right here below. We'll have our electrical box, showing all of our fuses, our twin battery setup. There'll be two fuses here attached to the battery. So if you're having any issues with supplies that have gone out, always double check these fuses up here. Also up here on the front, we're gonna have our spare tire and as well as our twin propane tanks. For your front propane tanks, we'll have two up here and a switch back and forth to let you know which tank you're pulling out of. Once your tanks run empty, this will actually show up as red instead of green. On certain models, we actually do have a 40 pound setup a little bit bigger for whatever you're needing, as well, an outside faucet. For the front hitch here, we're gonna have a couple adjustments, whether you have a lowered, lifted, or standard factory height truck. With these pins and bolts up here, you'll be able to loosen and adjust in for whatever truck you have needed for the perfect height. If your toy hauler comes installed with a generator or has a gen ready box, it can usually be located here on the side or located up here on the back rear. Now we're gonna to move towards the inside interior here. We're gonna show a couple features as well. Right when you walk into the door, there's usually gonna be your battery connect switch right down here. This will power all electrical supplies inside your toy hauler. Standard on the front door of every toy hauler, we also have a retractable screen. For new owners, Usually directly from Sundowny, your keys are going to be right here zip tied to your door. And for your remaining keys, they'll be included in your owner's manual directly inside the fridge. Usually found under the sink on the very lower deck, we'll have the hot water heater. For the water to run in line, always make sure that this is running horizontal with this lower pipe here. For most of these toy haulers, your water tank is actually going to be underneath your, your sofa. Here real quick, we're also going to show the drain switch that will drain underneath and also how you want it open to drain inside the tank. 
For the water draining towards into the tank, you always want to make sure that the switch is actually facing away from the tank here. For the winterizing process, we're also going to have a link down in the description and a link down below uh, showing you more in detail for that. On most of these toy haulers, we'll of course have the option for propane, gas, and electric. Uh, first, we're running our fridge down here, stove, and as well also our AC. First, we'll be shown here is the Dometic small fridge on this model. With it on, we'll also have a 1 through 5 cold through hot setting. You have an AC to DC power, and as well as an auto or a gas. For the stove model here, of course, I'm just going to show you real quick all propane setup. It's recommended that after being used, you leave it up in this position for probably about 10 to 20 minutes just to let it cool off. For your AC and heat, up here on the digital dash, we'll have an off, a fan with low, fan with high, your cool high, cool low, your auto, your high auto, of course your heat with electric, and then your heat with gas. The heat with gas will actually work your furnace. Usually in the kitchen area here, most of the time above the stove, we'll have the gas and electric hot water heater switch. On this particular model, we have the built-in Furion radio player and CD player. Here we'll have two inside speakers and two outside speakers. On this model in particular, it'll let you play all four simultaneous. Here we'll also show you real quick the drop down to the CD player. And as well has built-in Bluetooth with options for phone pickup and hang up. Right down here we'll have your propane and gas detector. And then right up here will be your smoke detector and your carbon monoxide. As well, every model features a day and night shade. And when you're looking for a little bit more to protect sunlight coming in, a little more privacy. Usually here towards the entrance of your toy hauler model, we'll have the rotatable antenna. We'll just push in and rotate. On every model, we're going to have inside the bathroom a recirculation fan, vent, and as well optional in most garages. Although that this model does not have a generator, this one is actually gen ready from Sundowner. So you'll see up here on the gen set, we'll have a stop and prime momentary lower switch and start for the upper switch. Just below your generator switches, you're also going to have a pump switch for your water, as well as a gauge to read your battery, your fresh water tank, your gray, and also your black water tank. If you're having any issues with your supplies, always make sure to come first check your fuse panel, make sure none of these breakers have been tripped. Well, these are just the basic features and a standard walk around. If you have any questions or any, need any more details, please give us a call, stop on by, or visit our website at ocalatrailer.com.